Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the tiny cupboard. <laughs> Let's hear some love for your dueling guitarists. Yeah. I feel like this is like a musical art connection across the room. Cool. Welcome to the tiny cupboard. I'm just here to say I have hand sanitizer up front and uh, over here, so please use it often. Uh, there is a free pot-infused brownie in the price of your ticket or if you're a guest on the show, so come see me up front to get one. Yeah, <laughs> and I have a donation-based bar with White Claws beers and stuff like that. But right now, put your hands together for Stoner Morning Show! Mike, check, check. Yo, okay. Yo, 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 not yo. too loud, not too soft. All right, good. Um, uh, can I make, I want to make a tease for something that's going to happen later on in the show. Already? It, yes. Whoa. I, Coming in hot. Yeah. I have been, for whatever reason, thinking about world problems I have no business trying to figure out the answers to. For you thinking about world problems, I'm Ralph, this is Sean. <laughs> I feel like I came up with a brilliant idea that is so smart that the cannabis industry in New York State is going to have to do it. Go go for it. Yeah. We have to talk about that later, though. Oh, oh got it. Yeah, yeah. Later on, we're going to talk about an idea so smart yes. for the cannabis industry yeah. that they're going to have to do it. It's they not going to happen now. It's going to happen later. Right. Good. So what do you have to talk about? Uh, first of all, I want to shout out Steve Ling and join this burrito right here. Yes. <laughs> you might, yeah. You might feel the need or some sort of pressure to be neat or be polite or not. I want you to enjoy that burrito as if this was your own living room. The, sure, yeah. There's no shame. All of us ate something sloppy earlier today and cleaned up real nice before we got here. Don't shame this man. Yeah. He is eating just like we all need to. Okay. I, uh, I, 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 uh, I'm supposed to be doing intermittent fasting, mm -hmm. and I broke through my time today that I was supposed to eat. Okay. Oh, uh, so you've, you didn't adhere to I the rule. I didn't adhere. Okay. And I'm ashamed. Mm, all right. And, and how did I, and, and how did I transgress? Greasy croutons. I got croutons that were fried in oil. Wow. From where? From upstate New York. Uh, oh, okay. They were to-go croutons. Yeah, they were to-go croutons. We were croutons. upstate together doing shows, and yeah, you grab croutons from like a rest stop or something like Just that. Just a bag of croutons. To-go salad, yeah. These aren't some sort of special snack you don't know about. They're what they sound like. <laughs> yeah. They're croutons that belong in a salad. Right. That I ate But outside. they traveled. Yeah, that they have traveled. They traveled co counties. Yeah. And are also at least so two days So it's possible old. you can't get those croutons here in New York. You might only be able to get them from a rest stop in upstate. To be fair, a child can make them. <laughs> yeah, all right. Anybody could make these croutons that I had. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't transgress with like a cheeseburger or fries or uh -huh. even a bowl of ice cream. Yeah. I transgressed with croutons. Yeah. You guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> everybody's in, everybody's It was there. a soft loss. I would say. Yeah. I'm, I'm forgiving myself for it. Okay. This would happen. Good. Um, this is going to sound like a brag, but it's not. Woo. And I think once I'll say it, everyone will agree that this is like, I'm not trying to brag, but it does sound brag worthy. This is something we're going to take a vote on after we hear it. <laughs> All right. Sure. We can vote. It's that if I encounter an escalator that is not working... That is a challenge that I can accept no problem whatsoever. Wow. I'm not, like, freaked out by it. I'm not like, oh, this is a weird sensation. I can handle it, like, full stride. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you why this is a brag. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to... And then you, we can vote on who, who... Sean lives at a train stop 
that has escalators because the stairs going from the bottom to the ground floor yeah. are maybe the tallest in New York City. Sure. So tall, in fact, this escalator that I've gotten vertigo riding on it. Yeah. So when Sean says if the escalator is not working, I don't feel a challenge. This is a Herculean amount of steps. I've that done that escalator. <laughs> yeah, I've done it. Okay. okay. So no with, problem. With that, <laughs> with that information. I knew it was scary because that is a, a steep uh, escalator it's, and it's long. Sometimes so it's... I, but I was not a, afraid. Sometimes it's so tall. Even when the escalator is working, yeah. while I'm walking up it, I can't tell which way is up or down. Mm -hmm. That's how tall it is sometimes. I yeah. feel like I'm in a new plane of reality where now everything is sideways, even stairs. There's no horizontal anymore. Mm -hmm. And I and I don't the know outer if I'll limits. leave it. The outer limits. Yes. Yeah. So now it's time for us to, to vote. Raise your hand okay. if you think... That what Sean just said was a brag. Keep your hands down if it was not a brag. Was I bragging? You feel free to say the numbers out loud so, so we know how many people are here. <laughs> this is less than <laughs> half. Okay. Most people don't we'll think count. you were bragging. One, two, three, four. I think it was four. Four. How many okay. people are in here? Well, now we raise your hand if you didn't raise your hand. Do you think the other thing? And then yeah, we'll raise your hand people. if you don't think he was bragging. <laughs> Raise One, your hand you two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plus right. four. <laughs> I think people didn't vote. There are more people here than that. Anyway, all right, we voted. I think. I think uh, the I, Olympics are the Olympics are coming up. I think the Winter Olympics are coming up. The Winter Olympics are coming up. Did you did you reference that to make? Did you say that to make reference to the fact that you've done the Herculean feat of climbing the steps? Uh, no, it was like we counted, or, and like there's scores uh, in yes. the Olympics. I think you won. I think you won. I okay. think everybody accepted it as not a brag. Okay. Oh, that's um, that segment. What else? Yeah. <laughs> Who has uh, an idea of what's next? Anya? Oh, Ralph had an incel bid? I did. I did. I did. I have several. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember what it was. I, had a, I was going to do this upstate, but there wasn't room or time for it. Mm. Um, oh, God, what was it? What is an incel bid? I don't know. It's a, it's bid. a bid. Oh, an incel bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. Um, you're, you're sending up incels. In no. Oh. The opposite. Oh, okay. You're embracing them. All right. Yeah, I do. I do embrace. Who know? Raise your hand if you know what an incel is. Yeah, it's okay. An uh, incel is somebody who is involuntarily celibate, and they take it out on whoever they wish to be sexually active with. Yeah, they they can be bitter and angry right, people. Right. Right. Um, and I actually have a, a solution for that too. Oh, I want to hear. People think that. this is a TV show idea, but no, this is an actual like. 501c3 that people can form. Okay. Like a nonprofit group. It's that a bunch of women get her, like volunteer that okay, if like my brother is an incel, it's like I can't contact this group of women. And then those like five or six women just show up at their apartment. And then and then and then they're like, We're your friend now. Wait, say that one more time. Say yeah. that, say that one more this time. This is a way to convert incels. Whoa! And it's it's you get a group of women who will volunteer to just show up at incels' apartment. It's like we're your friend, or they confront them outside your work. You're, we're your friend. You now have women friends. We're gonna treat you, t teach you how to treat women. So for the benefit of you, now you will no longer be an incel. Somebody will find you attractive. No, no, no. This, that, this will not happen in this instance. We are your friend. Yes, yes, yes. You yes. now have women friends. I think I, but that it, is... But if, we're all gonna ha but if, we're, if you're going to hang out with one of us, no, no, no. We're all showing up. Wow. Oh, wow. Strength in numbers. Wow. <laughs> anyway, what was your bit? <laughs> My bit feels irrelevant now. No, what what I was going to say, what I was going to say is, uh, uh, listen, I'm a friend of incels. Yeah. I'm a, I would be on that group. Okay, not a that's woman. fine. Yeah, that's I'm fine. I'm a friend of, because I, I just feel like, uh, 
Good God. They're just sad, and it, it feels like a... They're Winnie the Poohs. They're Winnie the Poohs. They're just Eeyore. bears walking around with no pants. <laughs> yeah. And, and, yeah. And they're That's not why wearing women are pants. Screaming. Yeah. They're not wearing pants out of choice. They can't get pants. Yeah. That's how they were drawn. Winnie, Winnie has accepted that with grace and kindness. Right. These young men have not learned that. Have not learned that. Uh, yeah. Have not learned that technique yet. Okay. That's it. Hey, we have guests coming up. But yeah, what were you gonna say? I feel like we gotta get this out of the way before they get up here. Oh. Um, uh, is that something? Uh, grace and kindness. Is that something that is inherent or that you learn? Who are you talking to? Anybody. Oh. I think you learned it. How does it how does anybody learn it? Ex- examples, yeah. Stories. Yeah, don't follow them. Barney. Who are good people to follow? I think I just thought of I said Barney because I watched a lot of it as a child and when i say a child i mean like 14 15 years old okay yeah <laughs> we didn't have cable we had yeah. vhs's of barney right. many of them for i don't know why and i watched them <laughs> into right. my mid-teens <laughs> okay that's fine some 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 kids were some teenagers were bedwetters so, yeah i was not a bedwetter right. all i did was watch <laughs> barney hours of barney <laughs> yeah. all right. over years. years yeah that's all I did. I okay. never went to bed. Yeah. Even now, nowhere near double digits. And where is this going again? I don't remember. Uh, oh, oh. oh wh- who are other good people that you we've we've learned grace and kindness from? And I mean, actually, in your life. Uh, I would say Mr. Rogers. Ooh. Oh yeah. Mr. Rogers and, uh, Morgan and, and Morgan Freeman. Freeman. Yes. Yeah. Oh, old Bill Cosby. Yeah, TV show. We're talking about TV. Oh, sure, right. Versus, um, Jerry Springer. 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 Jerry Elvin. Elvin. Elvin was very kind. Yeah, yeah. 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 Elvin was the kindest non Cosby in that show. That's my guess. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. What do I win? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. His wife was more kind than him. Who was his wife? No, but then his wife was a Cosby, though. The oldest daughter. No, no, I'm just saying Cosby himself, not not the whole family. Uh, oh, oh. Denise, no. Sandra, Sandra. No, mm. we're reminiscing. Um, all right. Let's have David Ray Martinez. <laughs> okay. Is that what we're gonna do? Is that is that what the order? We didn't. Talk sure. About yeah, yeah, yeah. David's gonna, gonna come up. And are do you some ready to tell jokes? Are you telling jokes, or are we just hanging out? No, no please, please tell some yes, jokes. Yes, and tell some jokes. Okay. Let's Put hear your it for hands David together Ray Martinez. for David Ray Martinez. Use that one. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the awkward introduction. Like, should we bring him up? I don't know. Is he on the show? <laughs> um, also, with the incel thing, I'm going to... Where are you? There are you, Sean. I'm going to disagree with you because you're just going to frustrate him with five more women he can't fuck, you know? Like, that idea doesn't work unless someone's going to bust that nut for him, you know? Because that's weird. You're like, five attractive women come over. We're going to be your friend. And, like, you're adding me to the, you know, like, I got to add five fine women that I can't touch. I don't know. Have you seen five beautiful women ever walk into a place where you, they, it desexualizes a man? <laughs> it doesn't, you ever been in a club and you like, I'm waiting for my boys and five hot women walk and you go, yeah, I ain't going to try to touch none of them. You get like, oh shit, them, they, they bad. That's some, that's some bad mother- Okay, Sean, I don't know. I just, I'm just saying I don't think it's going to work like that. Somebody has to take one for the team. Uh, <laughs> We're going to watch you fuck him and (laughs) 
but after that, we'll leave. Uh, I don't know, Sean. When you were saying, I was like, how does that work? Like, have you been in a friend zone, Sean? Like, have you, like, I've been in a friend zone so hard, like, the walls have grease on it. I can't get up them walls. I'm like, yeah, I've been in those kind of friend zones. Um, you'd be like, damn. And then, you know, it's the horrible part about being in a friend zone. Then they, you see somebody that they pick who is way uglier than you. He's like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? Because my face is not that bad. <laughs> I'm regular handsome, you know. I'm not life changing handsome. I'm not. I'm not this Indian guy handsome, you know. I'm not. You know, he walks into a room, white bitches, black bitches, be like, yeah, be like, yeah. They be like, yeah. I'll put a dot on my head for you, baby. <laughs> you know, I'm not that handsome. You know, I'm just regular. You know, like. Women look at me and be like, yeah, he got to take me out two or three times before I fuck him. <laughs> just, so I, just so I can tell my friends he had to work for it, you know. <laughs> oh, man, what else is going on with me? So it's weird dating because um, women are the most beautiful creatures on earth. And, and this is weird. This, should I sit down and talk to you guys? <laughs> Hi guys, my name is David Ray Martinez, and uh, this is an intervention for incels. Uh, but no, like I, I'm out here dating, and, and I have to make real life decisions when I date now. I'm like, she's beautiful, but do I risk my cable bill for her? You know, <laughs> I got a whole cable bill. Is she triple play cute? You know, is she? <laughs> You know, is, is she internet cute? Like, eh, I don't know. And then it's it's weird, like this week I have a bunch of dates set up and I'm like, I don't even know. I, I, and then I don't understand the women who date me. Like, why do they choose me? So I was dating a director of a hospital, right? I was dating a like semi-famous anthropologist. And I'm just like, why why do you like me, you know? And then I realized they're so boring. So boring. I'm like, you, like, woman, you study humans. <laughs> you, stu you study the lives of people. Like, you are a director of a hospital. Can't you direct, like, have some direct interaction with me? Like, one time I was at her house, and I was like, hey, I have to do a Zoom show in your house. And she lived on the Upper West Side, and she was just like, I don't know if I want you to do a Zoom show at my house. I want your full attention. And I was like, I am not your staff, okay? <laughs> I, can do, I can do a Zoom show in my mother freaking car if I want to. Um, and then like this week, one of these ladies is like the number one person on climate change and all kind of stuff. I'm like, who are these people? Why are you online dating me? Like, what is wrong with you, truthfully? <laughs> I mean, I'm a good person, but I'm like, Tinder? Come on. Maybe Bumble. I'm okay with people on Bumble. I don't know. I'm just working. I'm just talking my, my stuff, guys. Uh, anyway, my name is David Ray Martinez. Thanks for listening to some of my stuff. Oh, sit on down. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I only bring Goodness. it up because I was addressed during your set, but yeah. in my mind, the idea desexualizes women in this incel's mind so that if a woman can be a friend, now I can find the person who is a better fit for me. You know what I mean? Anyway. I understand that, yeah. but at the same time. At the same time. At the same damn time. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's, there's some beautiful women in the room, right? Like, yeah, I, I'm not going to count four, five, six of y'all. Yeah. If y'all came to my house, I would have been like, oh, my God. <laughs> Why are these beautiful women in the house of with course. me by myself? Yeah. And then you're like, they're going to desexualize me with, you got, I got, I got a Russian, I got a black, I got, a, I got some Jews in the house. You know, like, this is, no. I'd be like, wow, this is my fantasy. So I'm not an incel. But I'm just saying, like, how do the only way to desexualize the situation to me would be for there to be men and women in this situation to go, hey, we're here to help you 
you know, we're here to integrate you into real that life. That could be fine. Yeah, Ralph volunteered you know. for that as well. Yeah, because yeah. that's what I think. I'll be like, I could be your friend. Yeah. I could be your wingman. I'm an amazing wingman. Right. I have my lesbian friends take me into clubs. I get them butt cheeks mad quick. I'm like, what? Yeah, they, I, I, you don't know how many times I've gone to places and, like, I had one friend. She, you know, she's like, oh, that girl's really cute. I go, I had a Scooby-Doo t-shirt on. Very non-threatening, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like, I went over to this one girl, made fun of her hat. She laughed. And then I was like, oh, my friend thinks you're super hot. But it does, it does bring up crime, though. <laughs> Scooby-Doo t-shirt. <laughs> In Scooby some ways, it is a warning. <laughs> oh, the Scooby-Doo Scooby shirt? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. Right. But no, I'm just saying I'm an amazing wingman for men and for women yeah. because, as you can see, I'm very non-threatening. No one takes me seriously. Uh -huh. I saw My a picture of you on Instagram dressed as a minister, and I was like, oh, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. And then, but, oh, but then I read it. It was like, oh, you were on set. Yeah, I was on set. Yeah. Uh, my son and I were on set. My son was wearing... Uh, a yarmulke also, but right. I mean, we were just... You were in robes, but I could yeah. see you as a minister. Your son was wearing a yarmulke? You, was this Nickelodeon? No. <laughs> no, we were doing a comedy uh, video sketch. So That's awesome. But you I, get that, right? That you give off a minister vibe, kind of? I am from some of the most powerful people you've ever could imagine. Billionaires, because I worked at the Waldorf, and I also worked at... The Mark Hotel. I used to call uh, who that prince that Prince Philip died. Not Prince Philip. Who's the Prince one, Andrew? Who's whatever the last prince that died? Uh, prince Philip. Yeah, it was Prince Philip. So guy. husband. Yeah, yeah. So he used to come to the Mark. Ah. And I Royalty. don't recognize people. Everybody's sure. the same thing to me. So yeah. I would be in the elevator and I'd be like, "What's up, brother? You looking good today?" So <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Who you I'm are. Ralph. This is Ralph. <laughs> I know you, Ralph. <laughs> I'm saying like celebrities and people oh, like that. Oh, yeah, gotcha, yeah, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Like the the list of people that I've met in life, but they all have this a lot of things to say about me. Like, wow, I see you in politics. You have a great this. Uh, or I see you yeah. in this. Or why aren't you? You know, do you do speaking engagements? Are you? You know, are you heavy into church? I'm like, nah, I just be in my bed sleeping, yeah. <laughs> yeah. trying not to cry and shit. I want to say I'm, I'm I exist in between. I think. Just like David, if five beautiful women came to my house when I was in my in my nearest incel stages, I think I, I think incel is is a spectrum. Uh, I think I've been on the the yeah. closest. I would have been oh, like, sure. in oh, my, in my younger days, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, listen, me and my friend, don't judge me, women. I'm sorry, but when I was like 14, 15, uh, a, a girl broke my heart. And me and my, and my friend had a girl break up with him, and we formed a group, just him and I. The He Man yeah. Woman Haters Just him club. and I. It was called All Girls Must Die. Ah. A G M D. That was the name of the group. We never. We, it's not like we're gonna kill them, but it was just a feeling like, wow, this is whack. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then after I got butt cheeks, I was like, nah, they all need a. <laughs> when I will, but I will say, I think over time, I would, I would learn. Like I would, I would. Uh, yeah, I would. I think over time, like being having women be like, "We're gonna be your friends." I think that would be like increase my confidence and like all kinds of other things. When I was younger, I think that would be true. What I do also want to say is, I feel like no matter what age, I think I would react the way David said. Like women come to my house and be like, "Oh my god!" I feel like if women came to Shizzle's house. If five women at any age came to Shizzle's house, right. before they said anything, he would just be like, I'm just going to be your friend. I get that. I get that. I think yeah. he would decide first. Sure. Uh, okay. All right. Good. That's, That's a Shizzle. Strong, okay. A strong mind. That's well, um, was there a thought or question in the audience? I think, I think we're going to move the show And I'm sorry that on. I pointed out the way. Okay, there was someone in the back. You raised his hand. Where did Steve Bling get the burrito? We're, his segment is at the end. <laughs> his, his segment is closing out the show. But give it up for David Ray Martinez, everybody. Right, thank you, guys. Woo! Coming Beautiful. up. How, wait, how do we follow you, David? How do people um, follow you? Just my name. It's David, R-E-Y. Ray, R-E-Y. Yeah, David, R-E-Y, Martinez. I normally come up once you put in the Ray. David Ray. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Give it up for David. Yeah. Um, all right. We, 
here's my cannabis industry idea. And, and coming up later, we do have Steve Ling will give a review of that burrito to close out the show. Yes. But um, so I posed a question to a, fr- a friend of mine just as like, I don't know, because a lot of cannabis growers and small time like cultivators, distributors, they're worried about like regulation. They're worried that they're going to like get bumped out of it or there's going to be too much regulation. It's like people are nervous about it. Cannabis growers are nervous about regulation. Yes. And so I'm, I was thinking what group of people would make the best cannabis regulators in the state? What is like a type of person that would be – that everyone would trust? Like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll work with these people. What's that? Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean. Oh yeah. All right. You got. All right. You you came up with the answer. Yeah. So my joke. Anyway, you you ruined the punchline because I came up with joke answers first, and then uh, and then I came up with a real answer. So okay. my friend's answer was lesbians. Lesbians. Lesbians should be regulators. Uh, uh, yeah. And and um. But then she quickly said, not everyone does trust lesbians, unfortunately. And my answer was, my answer was nuns. Nun, yes. Because my, my child experience with nuns were great. Yeah. I had lovely nuns. Um, Before you, okay. Are you and, and, but, but the stereotype of nuns is that they're cruel. Oh, you know uh, I mean? yeah. So, I don't think of them So those way. are like... Before you move on... Those are imperfect guesses, but go ahead. I have an answer that I think... (laughs) All right, go ahead. Yeah, all right. I think the people who should regulate the cannabis industry are the late Nate Dogg and Warren G. Okay. Because they were about to regulate. Got it. Okay. (laughs) The true answer that I came up with is people who have lost loved ones to the opioid crisis. Mm. It's because they would know the importance of keeping this safe, and they wouldn't take money from big pharma, big, you know, because they, they that's how important the it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but how do, all right, so how do we just hire those people, right? Well, the, the, the answer is that you have them train the people who are going to be doing the regulation, and part of the training is, Here's the story of somebody that I lost. Mm. Mm. To let you know the importance of like how hard this has hit people. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, I think that's a great answer. Anyway, that's. I am just a stoner comedian. I don't know why I'm thinking of about solutions of things that I sh- that I have no business doing it. But I don't know. I have a lot of time on my hands. Yeah. 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 Um. I think that's something that should be thought about because the, the industry is growing, and uh, right. and, uh, and everyone's yeah. nervous. I don't know. People have I don't know. Everyone here is having fun. I guess hopefully maybe I don't know. But like the on the cannabis side, the people who are like vending and stuff, they're like they're excited that it's legal, but they're also worried that they're going to get bumped out of. Yes, David Martinez has a question. Yes. Uh, yeah, a friend does growing tents, yeah. There's some, yeah, I don't know what the, I don't grow, but yeah. Right. He count, yeah, he counts his kids. That's smart. Yeah, so maybe... What is... Wait, so what's your question? So, yeah, so my question <laughs> is about the regulation. is like, I could buy a whole building and just grow for every person that's in my building. Yeah. Yep. I don't... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think that's a good idea. No, the question is just a part of the scheme. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, get it. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um, I don't know. What's next? We have I, more guests. We have we more have, guests. I do. I want to say this. Yeah. I think. I think I would like more of these solutions for problems that uh, the marijuana uh, uh, culture and economy faces. Right. 
I think that's cool. Maybe somebody who is this pro- you've probably inspired somebody in here tonight to either start into the cannabis uh, industry, right. probably not, Maybe. or they may know somebody who doesn't and be like, hey, I thought of this solution. Yeah, yeah. And spread that Perhaps. word. I did come up with a, or this is another weird idea, and then we'll move on to our next guest. Yeah. yeah. It's that I was drinking, a, well, I was drinking a Canadian beer the other night. Whoa. And some people would be, think that's un American, that I'm drinking a Canadian beer. I wouldn't go that far. No. Some people might think that. Yeah. yeah. But I think I'm being more American by drinking Canadian beer mm-hmm. because take that Canadian beer. I drink you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are done. Yeah. And if more Americans are drinking Canadian beer, then more Canadians are going to be like, you know what? We're going to start drinking more American beer, and then that's economy. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like you just also described the way your hip-hop works. Could be, yeah. Before we go on to our next guest, yes. I just want to go to our trusty uh, segment. Whenever the show, I feel like, is going off the rails, this writes the course. Yes. And just really centers me and calibrates me. Just real quickly, before we move on to the next guest, I want to get at What's True with Shizzle. A segment of What's True with Shizzle, yes. What's true? What's true today, Fan Shizzle? of the show and frequent guest and musician and, fr- yes, friend of the show, trustee, What's true with Shizzle? Tell us. Well, what's true is that that brownie I just had like five minutes ago felt like it kicked in. The brownie he had five minutes ago has felt like it kicked in. Good. What a smile. Yeah. Shizzle, you should be in the sun. Your face should just be in the sun. If this show if this show gave away awards and one of the awards was most stoned person I've ever seen at yes. one of these shows, that award would go to Shizzle. Shizzle we did some show, he was sitting over here, and I looked over, and I was like, that is the most stoned person I've ever seen. <laughs> um, and he was having fun. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. And uh, if this show did give away awards, we'd all get one. Yeah. Anyway. Um, we have another guest. Let's music. Do it. Yeah, we're gonna hear some music from Ashley Sage. Yes, featuring Peter. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Um, my name is Ashley Sage. I'm a singer, songwriter. I produce, and. Um, I'm going to rock you guys a little bit tonight. Um, I'm just going to get straight to it. I'm going to play a couple songs from my EP, Sage the EP. It's out everywhere. If you like it, you can find it. Uh, This is Fill My Cup. Drops me, but that's fine. 
with you guys before, but hey! the songs I got going, heartbreak, um, and self-love, and so I'm gonna keep it going, let's do, oh, so, yeah, this song is called 20s, and basically it's about how we're all chasing a bag, trying to get money, trying to be successful, and sometimes we forget that we are the bag, so, I want you guys to say, I'm the bag. So, all right, you're the bag? He's the bag? He's the bag? Are you the bag? You're the bag, okay, all right. <laughs> To be complacent I'm that bitch I don't like waiting Time is short The clock is racing I'm the bag Come and get me Love is so deep I got plenty Won't let you steal my heart And leave me empty I'm not tripping No, I'm only Should be more intentional. Matter of fact, I'ma let you go. Craving more than a physical. I want you to blow my mind. I want to get to the bottom of the thing. Some all day, but you won't find it on the shelf, love. These days I can give a flying about rejection. Open up your eyes and you will see the Lord's protection. I'm the bag, come and get me. Love is so deep, I got plenty. Won't let you steal my heart and leave me empty. I'm not tripping though, I'm only in my twenties. 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 I'm not tripping though, I'm only in my twenties. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that part? Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is Peter. I'm Ashley. Um, um, you can find me on the gram at you need sage. Y O U N E E D S A G E. Take that middle chair. I'm gonna stand right here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ashley, Hi. what's your stance on broken escalators? <laughs> broken escalators. Do you hesitate, or can you can you take it full stride? Are you gonna look for one that's working before you go up? The I'm gonna one? look for one that's working, and if it there isn't, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm I mean, even walking down is is like vertigo inducing. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The one at near your place. <laughs> Any of them, I think, feel like. Where do you live? Up. Uh, it sounds like Broadway Junction. No, I live in Manhattan. Okay. Yeah. Broadway Junction is kind of like that. That though. is. That one yeah, is yeah. intense. Yeah. That's too much. I live. I live near the Javits Center. Not to get too personal. But <laughs> okay. That's what. Oh, okay. That was the other one I was thinking of. The yeah. one by like Hudson Yards. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you're Peter. We met the other night. What's your st- What's your escalator stance? If it's broken. Yeah. yeah. I'm running up the bitches. Wow. Okay. He, oh, he runs. That's athlete. bragging. Yeah, this guy's that's bragging. bragging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I respect it. That, yeah. That's him. I'm fit. I'm that's him. Player. Right. He can play the guitar. He has the rhythm. He, yeah, yes. he can sing. He can sing. Yeah. This guy's a real catch. This guy yeah, probably is. never slips. Yeah. yeah. Or if he does, he, he catches <laughs> himself. Good balance, I feel. Oh, I yeah. Bet. Who's that other handsome guy that David was talking about? What, what's your... What are you... <laughs> Handsome men. Is the yeah, yeah. What do you do? Are you running up escalators? Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> I walk on people movers also at the airport. I don't stand on them. No, I keep walking. Wow. Give Give me that boost. I'll. The walk. Yeah. Later I'll take a little turbo to get to the. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> You feel like you're in a music video? Yeah, you do. I walk, I walk the, I get on them and I ride a little while, then I walk the other way for a little while and I giggle. And then I let it carry me to the end. <laughs> All right, you're a, a savvy traveler, you are not. But I don't know, yeah. you're having fun. That's I'm having fun. fun. Yeah. It's not efficient at all. Um, Anything that you want to share with the the audience? I think I broke the sand. Um, uh, anything I want to share? Yeah. Give us some advice about heartbreak. heartbreak. That's oh, what I want to sure. hear. We had another song. Oh, you said, wait, wait, wait. We, we wanted advice. Yeah, yeah, I want advice about heartbreak. Like, how do we heartbreak? get over it? You, you, made, you did a bunch of songs about heartbreak, and they were beautiful. Yeah. But I just need information. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, and then the we got to get, And then we got to get to Steve's burrito review that we've all been waiting for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I would say for heartbreak, uh, focus on yourself. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you sulk for like three months, and you're mad at the world. World, but like, get back to you. Have fun. Um, <laughs> yeah. Have a lot of friends on the side. You know what I'm yeah. Builds your confidence. Binge and binge. binge the show and just like that. Not quite. I don't know. <laughs> Which, what what show do yeah. you binge? You want, in, in or any show? Yeah. And heartbreak. Yeah, yeah. In what? heartbreak, euphoria. Ooh. Mm. Why wow, you go even deeper in the darkness? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> wow. You guys. I don't. I'm going back to Barney. I don't That's know, what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't know if this I'm is going back to Barney. I don't know if this is a too much of a reveal for me, but I love the cable TV show BattleBots, <laughs> where people build robots and then they fight each other. It's like that sounds fun. It is great. You never. You actually really do never know what robot's gonna win. No. You think you have an idea? And then you sometimes you're surprised. I vaguely remember this show, and I know what you're saying is true. Yeah. I remember that. Right. I remember it's like that, that robot's going to win, or, or it's like you thought that robot was going to do anything? Yeah. This isn't a you joke. You feel like a fool. Yeah. The last question I wanted to yes. ask b- both of you, where are you both from? Um, I'm from Brooklyn. I'm Brooklyn. Ja- I'm Jamaican. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm from Queens. Oh, wow. You guys are straight up real New York. Right. Double the New York. Double the New York. New York strong times two. Ashley, how do you feel, if at all, being from Brooklyn has influenced your song making? You're a wonderful songwriter. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, 
Well, um, I'm from Brooklyn. I did live in Jersey for a little bit. So Anna. Uh oh. Mm. There's a little bit, but I'm mostly from here. All right. Um, I'll allow I, it. I feel I love being from Brooklyn. I feel like it's made me who I am. It's given me space to be who I am and explore all facets of creativity. Mm. So I'm very proud to be from here. Wow. What? 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 I, I have can so I, many. Can I ask a question to everybody here? Yes. Yeah. Why? Why can't bees? Why don't bees like each other? <laughs> yeah, bees. They live in whole why don't they like each other? together. They live no. in whole combs together. No, because it's like that song says, why can't bees be friends? 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 It's so why can't bees be friends? Yeah, it's sad. Why can't bees be friends? It's 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 sad to me that bees can't be friends with each other. Peter, would you continue playing that softly while Steve Ling gives us a review of yeah, the burrito? Steve Ling, give it up for Steve Ling. Burrito review, and then we're going to end the show, and then we're going to hang out at All Night Skate. Yeah, give it up for... Steve Ling's Steve burrito Ling. review. Yeah, yeah, burrito review. Just any quick sentence or something. you got to do it in the mic. No, you got to do it in the mic. Yeah, yeah. And then say goodnight, everybody. The burrito, you can get it from around the corner, slightly above average, but they took like 20 minutes to make it, um, so then I ended up having to eat some of it here. So. Fantastic. Out of 10, out of 10. Huh? Out of 10, um, 6. Wow. But it's probably the best burrito you can get around here. because Steve Linger, a 10. Thank you to David Ray Martinez. At David Ray Martinez, Ashley Sage. How do we find you guys on social media? Um, at You Need Sage, Y O U N E E D S A G E. At You and Need Sage? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is Peter. Peter K. The Way. Oh, shit. Peter K. The Way. Peter Pay The Way. Peter K. Peter K. K A Y. Peter K. The Way. That's it. Peter K. The Way. All right. And this is the Morning Show. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.